Oh, great putt in the heart. I'm just getting my ass kicked. good right now and uh, giving shots to BMO when I'm not hitting the ball well probably isn't going to work out. Don't really know where it went but are you on the green? Oh go F yourself. What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of From the Tips. We got BMO here again. We're here at uh, Twin Isles uh, Golf and Country Club in Punta Gorda. We're playing the back nine here. We're gonna be doing a six hole match. Um, BMO negotiated two shots out of me, so I'm gonna be giving them two shots out of the six. Um, and uh, we're starting here on number 10, par five. I kind of thin mine. Might be just short of this uh, fairway bunker or maybe in it. And then BMO hit his pretty good right in the middle of the fairway, position A. All right, guys, so we got 248 yards to the pin um, in a bunker. Not going to hit three wood, so it's going to lay up going seven iron. Uh, 248 and I don't want to hit three wood because I just know it wouldn't end well so I'm just gonna hit a nice hybrid try to hit from 200 number here just short of this. yep just short of that trap good shot 114 downwind is gonna go 54 degree All right, guys, uh, walking up to the green 20 foot putt for my birdie. And then BMO is going to be down there in the rough. He's got about 30 yard pitch shot. Let's see if he can stick it. Oh, looks pretty good. Yeah, good shot there. Well, that'll be good for his par. All right, guys, so I'm in for five. Bimo's got this for his birdie chance. Take the one up lead. Oh, great putt right in the heart. This man's one up. Good birdie to start. All right, well, it definitely feels good to play some quality golf here on the channel. Take the one up lead. Nice, confident birdie start. Uh, now we're on to hole number 11. Yeah, you're, you're stroking here, so BMO just beat me straight up on the hole he didn't stroke on, so not looking good right now. I uh, gotta start playing some uh, playing some good golf here down the stretch. Yeah, good ball. All right, well, we had like a freaking like dog like massacre going on, I guess, in like, the backyard <laughs> over there. So I don't know what the hell was going on over there. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, there not, was a lot of dogs barking and, it, you know. Did, did not hit a good shot. Uh, BMO piped it. It's going to be next to like the 150 stake. Hopefully I can find that. Uh, we'll see. Wind is howling out here right now, too. Very much into the face. Let's go uh, hit some, uh, stick some on the green here. All right, Cobb is in play over here. He's got about 170 into the wind. Kind of a tough shot here. He's going at that pin there and see what he can do. Don't know where that ended up, to be honest. All right, this hole's directly into the wind. I had 185 from over there. Had to try to hit a high draw over those trees. Nicked the top of the tree I was trying to go over. Um, so I ended up short and right of the green. Beam has got 146 here. What are you going with? I hit a little eight iron. Going with a little eight iron, 146 yeah, into the wind. Oh, he flared it a little right. It's gonna be kind of where my ball is. Yeah. Me and Cobb both down there, one there, one there. A little two up and downs for par here. Let's see what Cobb can do. Uh, 
Bimo sitting pretty here. I just chunked the hell out of that. <laughs> wow. These guys are good. These guys are good. Bimo stole away here, barely. Um, he's gonna go with Wedge again. It looks like he's gonna chip this one. Put it on the Wedge Clinic. That, my friends, is how wedges were meant to be hit. I'm gonna give him that for five. That's for bogey, yeah. All right, guys, so Bimo's got his putt for bogey here. Probably about 10 feet up the hill, right to left. This is for the, to win the hole, actually. Ah, oh, just missed it. All right, that's good. All right, so tied that hole. Uh, Bimo was stroking there. Story, uh, story of my golf game, birdie six. So that was uh, that was awesome. Nice couple chunks in there, but uh, thankfully got a stroke. So it's still uh, still one up. On to hole number twelve. Number twelve. It's par three, 143 yards. Looks like it should be downwind. I'm probably gonna choke up on a little nine. See if I can stick it. Not a real good strike. Uh, I was trying to hit a fade and then just end up just pushing it right. Um, I'm gonna be chipping on the right side. And I'll be chipping on the left side, pulled that nine iron. Real bad, terrible swing, but uh, <clears throat> hopefully my wedges can save me here unlike they did on the last hole. All right, not as bad as I thought, guys. I might actually end up putting that just on the left side there, Cobb. Trying to get up and down here, see what he can do. Oh, it's gonna have a little bit left there. About 15, 18 feet for, for par. All right, BMO just off the green. He's gonna decide to putt that. He's got about 20, 25 feet downhill. Should break a lot for his left to right. Pretty quick. Yeah, he's got some work left. I'll go in. Oh, wow. All right, well, I'll give him that for a four, and I got a putt here to win the hole. All right, not a great four there for me. Uh, Bimo's got this left for three. Take a two up lead after number three. Mm. All right, no blood on this one. Alright, so uh, BMO, into this wind it's tough to clear that trap, so BMO uh, didn't clear it by much, he's going to be in the rough just beyond the bunker, and then I took a little bit more of an aggressive line, didn't quite get all of it, uh, but I should be in decent shape, just in the rough on the right hand side. Alright, 174 yards for BMO here, he's going to be going with 6 iron, tough lie. Oh, face is just open there. Where are you going with? Uh, I'm gonna choke down on eight. Uh, choke down eight, you got 151. That pin's tucked there on that left side. Couple tough up and downs coming. All right, trick a little chip here for Cobb, up and over the bunker. He'll have a putt at par from there. All right, Bimo found himself in an interesting situation here. So he's behind the trees on the right of the green. He's got kind of a window, kind of, sort of. He could take it over here. That's way right of the flag, I believe. Um, or he could try to get it up and over this thing. I don't know what he's going to try to do. Oh, he nicked the tree. Get a slope down that hill. Keep going, baby. All right, pretty solid shot from over there. All right, guys, so up on the green here, I have about eight, nine feet for my par. BMO's got that left for his par. He's stroking here, so 
I need him to miss and I need to make. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Very nice. Well, I'm as surprised as anybody at that up and down. I'm not a good downhill putter, but let's see if Cobb can make this for par. Couple great putts, great up and downs there. <laughs> All right, so uh, so B was two up with two to play, um, but he doesn't have any more stroke holes, so we're gonna be playing straight up the last two. Uh, I'm just getting my ass kicked. Uh, yeah, I think match is going forward. I'm just gonna do straight up, you know, match play. You know, anything can really happen. I can get an eight on a hole and you know, still only go one down. So I think next time we'll do no strokes. Right now I'm I'm giving it to him. <laughs> Bimo Flair is out to the right. He's going to be right underneath this tree and kind of right next to the car path. I hit mine pretty thin, uh, and I think I should be in the fairway, just a longer shot in that I would have wanted. Uh, I think bimo has got the, uh, the home course advantage here. Uh, it's, it's probably about 60 degrees, which yeah, isn't really cold, but it's blowing pretty hard right now. So it's like 25 Flo mile an hour wind. Yeah, Florida boy over here is getting a little nippy. So yeah, he just got back from Massachusetts. So I, he's uh, he's still pretty used to the cold. I'm not really <laughs> right now. 188. Bimo's going with five iron here. Just gonna try to punch one. Looks pretty good. Cobb's got 160 to back pin location. He's gonna go over the nice little, uh, nice little seven iron here. Oh, that looks really good. This would be a good number. Good shot. The kid's not dead yet. He's applying the pressure. Just stuck one on the green right in my face. Not dead yet. Best win of the day by far. <laughs> um, he's gonna have a birdie look. Bimo is gonna be uh, trying gotta get to up get and up down. and down for his par. So gotta get up and down. Gotta yeah. win this hole, boys. All right, so I ended up kind of middle-ish of the green. Pretty long birdie putt. Bimo ended up just beyond this trap. He's in the rough. Gonna have to try to chip up. All right, still got some work left. All right, just not, not a good chip there. Did not give myself an easy par look, but probably feel a lot better if he just drilled this right now put me out of my misery on this hole good speed yeah and that will be good for his tap in par good par from Cobb putting the pressure on me tell you what guys um, if he leaves himself about three feet I'm gonna have to make him put that Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Certainly gave it a go. All right. All right, that that, 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 that one that one's good. Oh, I thought I did it. I thought I did it. All right, boys. Still alive, baby. Still alive. I don't know how be most fun to not go in. That was that was crazy. That was a hard lip out right there. Yeah, that one that one hurt. That one really hurt. I thought I did it to him. I thought I ended it right then and there. Tough, tough lip, but another hole. I gotta beat him now. I uh, used two iron. This is kind of a, a layup hole, I feel like, because you have to go over water on your second one, so I didn't really want to cut off too much. Try to draw a two iron um, and just stayed out right. Hit the car path. I'm going to be on the rough on the right-hand side. Pretty long shot in, 
and then BMO decided to get driver. He had a perfect one actually. He's right in the middle of the fairway, so he's in a good spot here. I'm gonna have to hit a really, really good second shot. Apply a little pressure to uh, BMO's wedge game. Cobb does not have a great lie over there. He's got a little bit of tree trouble. I don't really know if it comes into play. But he's got a pretty long shot into this green with water in front of it. Let's see what he does here. Sounded really good. Don't really know where it went, but... Are you on the green? Oh, go F yourself. All right, BMO's got 119. What are you going with? I'm going with a gap wedge. That is a tough shot to follow, seeing Cobb just hit four iron from that lie onto the green. But prime position here, try to throw it here. No, no pressure, BMO. That water's looking pretty good, though. <laughs> Yanked it a little. Uh, just short of that trap on the left. All right. Gotta get up and down. Just gotta tie him. All right, I wanna take back what I said earlier. I deserve strokes. This kid's just built different. Four iron, puts it on the green. Just not fair. And then I missed the green with a gap wedge. Built different. You know, it sucks. You know? <laughs> uh, I wish I wasn't in that spot to start off with, but you know, I know how to recover. That's one thing I know. Uh, it's because I'm used to being in the woods a lot. <laughs> Let's see if Bimo can get this up and down. He's going to need to. If I win this hole, then we're going into extra holes, baby. All right, Pimo looks like he has a pretty straightforward chip up here. He has been practicing a lot on a short game. He's been coming actually to Twin Isles, the course we're playing today, utilizing their practice facility. So let's see if it's been uh, paying off. A little, looks pretty good. All right. A little bit of meat though. All right, this will be one of the craziest birdies I've ever seen if he can if he can do this right now. He's got a long putt. It's a big hill that it comes down as it gets close to the hole and it runs away. He can send it to extra holes if he sinks this. I got about, I don't know, 10, 10 feet or so, eight, 10 feet. But I need him to miss this. No gimme, no gimme there. It's a tough putt, runs away. So it's gonna have a little downhill right there. All right, Bimo, high pressure spot here. He's got about a seven footer to win the match. Oh no. What am I, Grant? <laughs> what the hell is this? That one's also not good. All right, good putt. I am not happy. Two lip outs on two putts to win the match, and now I'm on the verge of blowing this to this kid? No. Cobb's got about, what did I say, four feet down the hill? Four footer down the hill to extend the match. Can he get the ice in the veins? He is just... He's a, <laughs> oh man, I can't believe I'm, I was two up with two to go and I just had two brutal lip outs that I gave him hope. All right, we're on to sudden death. Hole number 16. It's about, uh, he's gonna shoot us about 170, 180, par three, not an easy hole. Bunker short, bunker long. But those lip outs, I don't lip out a lot. 173. I'm just, I gotta dig deep here. Dig deep, stay composed, and hit, in the, hit a good shot here. Oh man. Primo, what are the thoughts with that swing right there? You know, I don't know what's worse, my like, like I just can't shut a club face to save my life. Like all I got, I, I hit the center of the club face, but when it's like this, it's gonna go that way. <laughs> all right, bimo has got a lob wedge. Looks like it came out pretty good. Pretty good shot. 
All right, he's got a putt out over there. All right, gave myself at least a chance. Not a great one, but see if Cop can shut the door right here with a birdie. It's been on a mission since like hole like three. Oh, no give me there. All right, not happy with that performance there. Got to get it there. That was uphill into the green. Bimo's got 20 feet left for his three. Wow. Oh, no. Crap that. Oh, no. This is what we call implosion. <laughs> <laughs> I already got to hit this. That was... Woo. Oh, no. To putt it, but yeah, it's going to be uh, just an epic collapse here. I was riding high, two up with two to go, and you know I don't want to blame the lip outs, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have nightmares about those tonight. <laughs> that just makes me so much more mad <laughs> because that first putt was arguably worse than the tee shot I hit on this this hole. Oh. All right, guys, uh, it wasn't pretty. Um, that was not a good putt to finish it, but got the job done in extra holes to defeat BMO. BMO with the two shot or two hole advantage with two holes left. And then I just come back and win three straight, baby. That's how we do it. And it was, um, you know, I'm a lot happier with how I played today than uh, the last time we came out, but I don't know what's gonna haunt me more, that putt or that six iron, or, you know, those lip outs probably will be in there too. <laughs> just all around, just couldn't, the definition of not being able to close the door. You're up two or two to go. You can't give this kid hope because he has the game to hit four irons onto the green out of somebody's backyard. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's going to be first match of many between us. Um, so I'm up 1-0 right now. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Uh, until next time, guys. Peace. Peace.